All right, let's go at it again. Welcome back, everyone. As usual, we'll take a look at the mods first. It's only disco signs. And let's get back into the ultra lazy permadeath world, marathon permadeath world, whatever. Let's see if we can find a map today. All right, and uh, my escape key is jittering a bit. Ah, there we go, restart. Hopefully that won't be too much of a problem. So, as usual, in case someone hasn't seen this before, what I'm looking for here is a map that has iron under my feet when I start. So that I can mine five iron ore, smelt that into plates, and craft one pair of transport belts out of that iron. And then use those transport belts to move. And that way, this one actually went pretty quickly. That way I don't need to ever take a single step in the game before launching a rocket. Uh, so this is a map that satisfies that requirement. I have iron that I can reach here. Um, but it's a desert map and it's looking pretty terrible. <laughs> There's lots of stone here. But yeah, stone is not what I need. What I need most of all is iron. And after that, oil. And also, um, desert maps don't absorb any pollution, really. <laughs> Look at this guy. Smiley face. Uh, so, yeah, I don't think I'm even gonna try this map. Let's keep rolling. And hope I can find a slightly more green map like this one, except with iron where I start. This one would have been nice, if not for the no iron here. I guess these bases are a bit many and a bit close, but at least there's a big iron not close by. Uh, it doesn't matter really, because I can't use the map anyway, but more along those lines is what I'm looking for. That actually was a really quick roll of the first map with iron under my feet. This was close, but not quite close enough. So yeah, it's a bit hard to tell from the uh, map preview whether a map has iron under the feet or not. Because it's quite a short range you have on, on the mining. Which is why I'm doing it like this instead. Which does mean I get to be a bit less picky about what map I choose. But that also does add a bit to the, to the challenge. Unfortunately this is copper, but yeah, this is not a very good map anyway. Many maps with iron close, but not quite close enough. That was stone, right? Not iron. I'm pretty sure it was stone. Oh! <laughs> it looked like one of those trees went into pieces when I spawned. I think it was just some other effect though. This reminds me, I actually have been thinking I should do this on a multiplayer game instead. So that I don't pause the the world when I go into technology view and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, let's Death World Marathon, defaults, we and go. Alright. Um, no.
I guess that looks okay. Ooh, not blocking saving. <laughs> nice. Uh, that's also nice to have. I don't think you get that in... Oh, but then I can't do the reroll. Hmm. I don't think I can really tell from here. Let's see, I suppose I will spawn right about here. Okay, a bit further down. Let's see if I can get this to work. So, like, there-ish, slightly to the northwest of the patches. Okay, quite a bit far to the northwest. Hmm. I wonder if there is a mod that will <laughs> indicate the starting location on the, on the map. Oh, I guess what I can do... Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can just find a map in single player single player mode and then start the map in multiplayer mode. Let's do that. Death World Marathon and go. So let's see if we can find a map. That's coal, that's not good enough. Yeah, this might take a while. I really wonder what proportion of all the map seeds have uh, iron under the feet when you start. Because I've seen everything from just a couple of rolls until you find one up to, like, rolling for ten minutes without finding one. quite close enough. Also not quite close enough. This is uh, just out of reach. It's like three tiles out of reach. <laughs> That's unfortunate. It looked like a green map too. Also not quite close enough.
found a desert map so quickly, but no. Second one is acting shy, it seems. It's going to be that way today, isn't it? The other way you can do this challenge is to Instead of rolling for a map with iron under the feet, you can just allow yourself to take a couple of steps to gather the iron plates from the wreckage. Um, like you can see here over here, there are iron plates in the wreckage parts. So if I could like go for, for these three for example, then I could just use those five plates to craft the belt. And that's what I did the last time I did this challenge. And before then, way back in the day, uh, before the wreck was added, you started with those eight iron plates in your inventory instead. Uh, so back in the day, you didn't need to take a step at all, and you didn't need to do this re-rolling for the map. But yeah, I think this time I do want to do this and not budge the no walking at the beginning. There we go. This is also a desert map, and it's also terrible. It is a very large iron patch, but it is also contaminated by the stone. And yeah, again, it's a desert map, and there's a lot of enemies. No iron in sight, no oil in sight. Yeah. No thanks. This is a green map, which is nice. I like the lakes around here. It means there are a bit fewer directions I need to worry about defending. And there's a pretty good... yeah, there's a lot of good space here. I like this map. So, let's try. Alright, and I should just save this. Uh, and then go into multiplayer. Actually, let's see, a single player, load game, map exchange string, copy, and then go into multiplayer, replay, and death world marathon. Oh. There. Did that get the same seed? I th suppose it probably did. Yeah, it did get the seed, okay, so... Deathward Marathon with the same seed. Let's see, this should generate the same map. Yeah, 
looks like it did. So first of all, we'll go into permissions and remove a walking permission so that I can't move. Yeah, it's the same map. Cool. So, here we go. One and a two. And a three. And a four. And a five. Well, that is the last of the mining I'm going to do. So we'll craft one set of belts. And let's see, we need to go to coal first, but I also need one piece of wood. There is a tree right there, it seems. So I can get that one, or I can get one of these on the way. I think I'll go for that one. So I'll make sure that I, let's see, I want to go up around there. This way I can stay zoomed in. So, while I'm doing this delightful repetitive task here, um, in case anyone's new and hasn't seen the challenge before, what I'm doing here is, as you can see, most of all, I'm not ever going to walk in this game. And I'm also doing a an extension of the... well, the whole thing is an extension of the Lazy Bastard achievement, basically. Uh, I'm not going to handcraft anything that I don't, uh, like, critically need. So I, what I'm going to handcraft is the first assembler, the uh, ten science packs I need to to research the assembler. Uh, one lab, one steam engine, one boiler, one um, what's the word? offshore pump, and uh, well, all the components for those, of course, which is going to come out to a total of 143 handcrafts. So it, it's a bit too many for the Lazy Bastard achievement because this is m m marathon settings and not default settings. But at least that's what I'm going for here. So no hand crafting until then, or well, no crafting unnecessary things until I get the first assembler, and once I have the first assembler, no more hand crafting at all. Uh, I'm also not going to mine any ores other than the five iron ores I already did uh, to get started. Uh, I'm not going to use lasers of any kind. I'm not going to use. Um, uh, I'm not going to drive vehicles, meaning cars, tanks, uh, trains and spider-trons, but I might ride automated trains and spider-trons at some point. Probably not spider-trons, but because if I have, if I had enough science packs to research spider-trons, I could have just won the game already. And I, all I'm going for here is to launch one rocket without dying. Oh yeah, and that's the other uh, major Thing that I'm doing here. I'm playing with permadeath, so if I die even once, then I have to abandon the attempt. No respawns and no reloads. And what's what more? Um, also no solar power. Uh, no restriction on nuclear power, but I will see if I do use nuclear power. I didn't the last time I did ran this kind of challenge, so we'll see. But here we go. I'm going to need a total of 117 coal for this early game. Uh, and to mine that I need 18 coal. So I'm going to need to wait here a bit until I get 18 coal in that. Meanwhile, I will start designing some blueprints that I'll need. And the easiest one is the furnace.
can also set up some of these shortcuts. It's kind of interesting how everyone really has their very own setup for all of this. Uh, that's all I need for now. Oh wait, that needs to be an underground belt. So let's see, that's 16, 17, okay, so we need a few more there. Okay, so there we have 21 now. And I like doing five more than I need, so let's go to 23. And that's 23, so now I just need to wait for this to run out of coal. So, continue designing blueprints. And I think no, no, that's not quite done yet. Also need this. But that is done. I also need power poles, but I'll add those later. So that I can have them neat and tidy. Uh, let's see. We also need a few more of these. Actually, this needs to move away because here I need a steel furnace instead. Let's copy this like that, maybe. And these all have to go away, and these need to be doubled. One of these needs to be coal. So let's see how this is going to work. Uh, I always, I never quite can remember how how the coal header works here. At least we have this. Uh, it's going to be out here. I think it usually works like this. You know, this seems familiar. So let's see, this is coal, so we need coal input, then iron output. Four and two, three. And here I'm going to be using steel purples. And then finally this one goes there. And I will need, or at least want, a buffer for steel. Since it's so much slower to smelt than everything else. Let's take out this, this from there before it fills up. And purples. Let's see, uh, I want to use steel purples in here. Something like that, and then we'll go like that. Hopefully this will keep the purples nice and tidy. Looks good. Actually, maybe these should be 
steel as well. Yeah, let's make these steel. Okay. That looks okay. So... There we go. Furnace is done. Let's take this out of there again. And let's see what else. We need some factory things. We also need some science things. Uh, should we take this and... Use this as a guide. Actually, maybe I keep this around here. Because I will want to use this here. So I usually like doing a base layout that's like folded on back on itself. So like I build this here and then I build uh oh, wrong button. Build some factory stuff down here. And the resources kind of go out like this, out like this, and uh, come back this way. It's a layout I like because it, ke it keeps things very compact without um, just consuming all the space over here. So I like that kind of layout. Is there enough space for that in here? I think there is enough space to do at least like the um, basic things down here. And then I can do sciences over here. Yeah, I kind of like that. So let's put this around. Let's actually put in a few of these here. So that I can judge the distances a bit better. Same here. Because I will need uh, one thing about a no walking run that you, you do need some walkways and space for them around the base. Uh, so let's actually keep that one here instead. And let's see. So I can put that, like, here-ish. Looks pretty okay. Six coal to go. Okay, so I probably won't have time to finish this before that finishes. But let's try anyway. Uh, I can't un undo right now. Mm. Yeah, I think about there should be good. So then that means down here will be the mall kind of thing. And I want one, two. I think I'll be. I'll settle for two belts this time. One, two belts in there, and. We'll be making gears. Move this up here so that I can see when this runs out. And let's see. Last time I did it like this so that I can have these buffers there. Could also do it something like this and have 
the gears and circuits on this one and the plates on this one. But no, I think I'll do this one this time. So what I could do though, I guess I guess I could do something like this. Yeah, that makes this a lot more compact. Although I will need to I will need some of this to come up so that I can reach it with the assemblers on the other side. Which are going to be making circuits. And actually like that. So then these need to go from there. Yeah, this can work. Okay, this is done. So let's pick this up and move on. Next, let's do iron, I guess. Because that makes it a bit easier to move around. It's only 163. Okay, I'll let that finish and then move it. Because I'm going to need more iron than that. Uh, so let's see this thing here. Alright, uh, I need to, need to move this. Okay. Let's move that. 500 is more than I need. It's okay. So let's see. Uh, I need to move that one there. And I know you can pick up things through the uh, underground hoods. But it offends my aesthetic sense. So I don't want to do that. So, there. Can I get all these we want? No. Okay, let's just do that and that. Well, that works, okay. Let's do it like that. Have a bit more range. Okay. 
That looks pretty good, I think. So now let's see if I can get all this thing back here. Maybe shouldn't have removed everything. Oh no. <laughs> Okay, that's not going to work. I can't undo any further. So I'll just have to replace this again. Let's see. I think I wanted it somewhere around there. So let's see here then. I need one walkway. One vertical walkway, another vertical walkway. And then this. So up here I want two belts of stuff, I think, and then two spaces. So they'll go there. And then it's the same height. Cool. Do I want the walkway in between here this time? Maybe I don't. Because usually I have a space, but let's see, how far is this? Can I reach down there? Because usually I put a space in between those. Like in between here and there. But maybe I don't actually want to put that this time. And just go with this. Because this belt still has to come up like that. And the walkway will go there. Unless I mix these on the other side first. It's probably better. Because the reach is a major concern here. Okay, and this means I can even squeeze in an assembler for, um, what's the word? Power poles, there. Right, so let's put in a few more pieces of coal here. I'm gonna need 54 coals worth of mining, and I've already done one, but let's put in 54 anyway. So one, two, three, four, and then I want as usual five more. A bit of margin. Uh, I should probably empty this as well, yeah. So let's see about these then. Actually, I guess I can just use this belt here, right? For iron. No, I need iron in the middle as well. Yeah. But, maybe I can put, yeah, I can put in stone and stone bricks from this end, which would mean I don't need as many belts here. Yeah, I'm still gonna leave the space, I think. So, uh, this here will be making belts. Similarly, on this side, we'll have inserters of various kinds. Mm. 
Uh, so that's red, yellow, blue, purple. Alright, and this one also needs red circuits, which will be coming from the bottom, probably. So this will have to go like that instead. So that I can put something like that. Yeah, that looks like everything. are a bit unspecified as of now. So they will probably be chests, ammo, um, assemblers and miners. In a bit of a mix. So those are belts. Here I usually do pipes. These will be steam engines, and then here we'll have offshore pumps. And boilers, which don't need anything else except for furnaces, and this will be furnaces. So furnaces will be getting stone in from there, probably. And then these I'll figure out later. But this one I think I want to be uh, uh, turrets. Uh, gears, plates, and copper. And probably repair packs there, which only needs that one actually. And then we'll have radars. Some more power pulse here, I suppose. Covers everything good. That also covers everything. Oh, but I don't want this one there, if I can help it. Can I help it? Probably not if I want this on the same side. Could do this instead. Okay, still need that one. And in that case, I can also put this there. Although I probably want to m make oil refineries somewhere around here, where I have the stone. But oil refineries are also going to need steel. But maybe I will run in steel in from here, somewhere. Uh, and order oil refineries also need pipes. Uh, but I think I'll figure that out later. This should cover everything I need in the early game. So, let's save that in the library. A 
Well, let's see, we have 32 coals worth left of mining there. So let's do some signs while we wait for that. Can do it, uh, yeah, let's do it up here so that I can see when that runs out. 9, 10, for red signs. And another 2 for green signs. How do I usually put these? Yeah, I think it's like that, yeah. This is messing with my head because I usually do it in this direction. Uh, so, we have belts there. Inserters there, circuits there, wires there. And gears in both of these. I suppose I can compact this anymore, can I? No. Can I straighten this out somehow? <laughs> Guess I can use long inserters here, but I will use need fast ones uh, to get full throughput here, so uh, maybe not. This also needs iron, and then it also needs a power pole. Guess it will have one of its own. Can I get this iron through here somehow? I don't think I can. Maybe if I do it like... something like... That doesn't quite work, okay. I think this is okay. coal remaining. <laughs> Do 
Yeah, I think that'll be okay. Maybe, probably. Would like to compact this a bit more if possible. Let's think about that later, I think. Which probably means never, but whatever. Let's science. Let's do some military science as well. No? Oh, ten. Okay. Nice. One, two, and a belt in between. I guess I should probably squeeze the power pole in as well. There. And then the input over here, this is going to be grenades. Let's make the pretty layout with the uh, inserters centered, just because it looks nice. I think I did. Input, output. Oh, this just works then. Because of how I placed those uh, outputs. And then I need a splitter there. This goes there. And outputs here. This will weave through here somehow. And I'll probably move those outputs at some point. Uh, as will I this one. Probably. Yeah, I need power poles over these as well. Let's put it there. Yeah, let's make it symmetrical. I don't think I can save those power poles anyway, unless I do this with steel poles, which I might be able to do. But I wouldn't count on it. And this needs stone, bricks, which will be coming in from some direction. We'll see. Yeah, that should be military signs. Also make sure that everything has power. These don't have power. Okay. Military signs done. How is it doing? 11 remaining. I can prepare by making some gears now. I'm going to need... 26 gears, except for the science packs. And belts, yeah, so 36 in total. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's 25, 26, 36. 
can also make pipes, of which I need 10. What else can I prepare? I guess I can prepare some engine stuff, maybe, while I wait for this. Or do I want engines up here? Maybe. Let's see, what am I going to be using engines for? It is, I think... It is flamethrowers, pumps, maybe train locomotives. Is there anything else I'm going to need them for here? Apart from robots, of course, but those will have their own dedicated factory once I get there. I will need them for blue science, but again, uh, that will have a dedicated factory. I'm not going to be making cars, I'm not going to be making tanks. So yeah, maybe this only flamethrowers, pumps and trains. In which case, maybe I should make them up here. It also means I can leave this space for like red circuits and uh, circuitry stuff, maybe. So if I make engines there, then I have three assemblers here for those three things I need engines for. That actually works out pretty neat. So then I would need to move this to here. Maybe move this one as well to the inside and probably do some undergrounding things here as well I will also need steel up here but I think that's okay so then the pipes will continue this way let's see this one will put on the right side of of the belt from its perspective so need to get that on the, the other side and then I can make engines here so that would also need pipes and steel and gears and then I will want a buffer for the engines probably Will I need pipes for any of those? I will need pipes for flamethrowers and for pumps. Okay, so I don't want to keep the pipes on the belt. Okay, and this is about to run out. Oh, and then perfect, I can cut wood while I wait for the copper. So for stone I need how much? Stone mining, 8 coal. So let's do 13 for the usual bit of margin. 
Oh no, I can't see this anymore. But that's okay. Uh, so up here, how can I do a engine buffer? Can do like this. That means I just need to dive these belts under if I need them up there. I don't think I can make this much more compact. Unless I do something completely different. Like this, maybe? out of there somehow. Hmm. Doesn't quite work. What if I do it like this instead? This might actually work. This actually works. And... Yeah. Let's see, except... I need steel in this one, right? Because pumps need steel, I think. Yeah, pumps need steel and engines and pipes. So I'm gonna need two inserters on this side. Okay, so what if I just do it like this? And I still need to do the thing with the pipes. But yeah, that probably is, works out better in the end. Yeah, that's better. Oh, this is full. Oops. Okay, so then I will have steel on this belt, probably. And I can take in those and, the, and those. And what else? Uh, flamethrowers need steel, gear, engine, pipe. So steel, gear, engine, pipe. Well, gear, pipe, whatever. And then I need an output for these somewhere. There is good. And then this needs kind of the same thing. I think the pumps might need a circuit, no? Just steel engines and pipes, okay. And then train engines. Steel circuits and engines. Okay. So there I have that prepared for train locomotives. I don't think there's anything else I need engines for in this early game. 
Let's just have a look see. Because I think that everything else here. Like these don't need engines, these don't need engines. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and then we'll figure out the rest as we go. Okay, stone is done. 86. I need 14 coals worth. So that's 13, 14, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 coal is not a lot to. Hmm, actually. Okay, I only need 2 coal to actually research autom automation. So we should be fine. Okay, we have enough copper to make the science packs. Chop about a hundred wood. Which should be kind of enough to get me to steal our our poles. Let's get one more. Where do I put the first power plant now, is the question. And there's a tiny water puddle there. Let's actually make the offshore pump so I can see if I can put one there. I cannot put a pump there, <laughs> okay. But maybe I can put it there. Probably not. Alright, so I could put it like here, that's very close to these. Could put it down here, that's very far away from the coal. I could put it up here, which is close to both coal and water, and quite... Uh, like sectioned off from everything else, which is nice. Uh, let's actually... oh, wait, and um, here. Let's actually prepare a blueprint for the power plant so that I can measure out how big it needs to be.
that should be, yeah, that's half a power plant. And that's another half. Okay, I'll put that into library, and now let's see. Okay, a, f a whole power plant does fit in here. So this seems like a very good place for it. There are a couple of trees in the way, but I think that's fine. So let's put the power plant up there. Uh, because that, that means it's quite well protected by the lake and these cliffs here. I only need to like protect a couple of choke points here. And this is also quite out of the way of everything else, which is also nice. Nice to have it close, of course, but still, I like this. It's quite neatly in there. Right, so I need to go that way. That also keeps me close to the coal so I can quickly get up and running again after I research automation. Because coal is the first thing I'm going to need after that. Oh yeah, I forgot I can make one more set of belts now. probably also prepare some of the circuits. I made two already for the pumps and I need 15 in total so I'll make 10. I think there are a few more intermediates I will need now but that's okay. As long as I don't overproduce them it's fine. Could also make the steam engine now because I don't need to recycle anything to make that. I cannot make the boiler or the lab yet because I need to re recycle the furnace here and the la or and the belts here. So I can't make those yet. One more call, okay. One and a half, I guess. Okay, time to go do some research.
All right, so now let's see. I can place that there. I can place that there. Okay, now I'm not in the way. I think I want to move a little bit back though. All right, so belt in inventory, furnace in inventory, make boiler, make lab. Oh, I had quite a lot of coal still. All right, and I also need one set of poles. And place lab. Start automation. And go. Okay, now I have four gears in my inventory, which is fine because I'm going to use those for the assembler. Uh, okay, this is still going. Nice. So I can make three more circuits and one more gear here while I wait. Now it looks like I might actually have enough to make two miners right away. Uh, not actually, I, I'm one. I'm a couple iron plates short because I need to also make some belts so I can move again. <laughs> That's a shame. Oh well. Right, next up will be turrets. And that is the la the last handcraft. Now let's go into permissions and remove crafting permission. And uh, let's go, let's make some gears. First of all, and then we will make copper wires so that I can make a miner. Ten gears, yeah, ten gears. Good, and then let's just turn the rest of the copper into power poles. Should maybe save some of it actually, so that I can make another miner again without having to mine more copper. So for that I need to... S I guess I can just make the five circuits out of this. One, two, three, four, five. And then make the rest into poles. I really hope this is enough. I guess if it isn't, I can just use the the burner miner for a bit. But yeah, I really hope that's enough. Should be, I think. That is 16. Yeah, that should be enough. Ok, 
can make the most use of the ones I have. Should we put these closer to the cliff? Because I don't want to use that space for anything else anyway. Primarily I don't want to get close to the cliff with my walkway belt. Because if I get myself moved into the cliff then I can't get out of there again. Since I don't have cliff explosives and I can't move. And I can't place belts in the cliff. Makes it a bit awkward if I get myself in there. Oh right, I should have mined coal. Ugh. Well, at least I'm not losing anything other than time. Most importantly, I'm not generating extra pollution because there's nothing that's... Uh, consuming any power right now. Fortunately. Okay. And go. Make one chest and some furnaces. Looks like I need 12 coal total to make one miner, I think. Yeah, that is what I have here, yeah. I need 12 coal total to make one miner. Which means I need a lot less to get from here to one more miner, because I already have some of the components. 30 should be good. So let's try to line these up with the ship right away. It'll be there and there. And there. And there. Okay.
Mm, can't see the power plant from here. Wait, I need 20? Yeah, 20. to need more copper before I can make another miner. But at least I can collect enough from here so that I can make one more or maybe even two more. And then place one on coal and one more on copper. And then I point to Yeah. Listen to what I say and not what I listen to what I mean and not what I say. Case in point. Uh, that's a recurring theme here that I say coal when I mean copper and copper when I mean coal. all I need for one miner. So now I need, what, 60 more to make two miners? I want to see how much coal is left in the power plant. I think I left 14. Which is enough to mine, let's see, 70 times 4. Okay, it should be enough to mine all of this stuff that I need. Okay, so that's enough. I'll leave that here. So now I need 40 copper plates. Yep. Oh, now I can see. All right, so we're running out here. Hmm, that's unfortunate. Wait, that means... Okay, I do have a bit more coal here. If I can at least get to 20 here, then I can just make a coal miner that I can leave there. Looks like I will be able to do that. Okay. So, yeah, that means I can... Okay. I am going to leave this here.
But now I'm going to cut the power here. And you will see why in a moment. then uh, 77 kilowatts and I need how many 120 seconds so 140 something okay should one wood should be enough to make this miner I should just have taken with me the coal in one of the burners from there, or furnaces or other. Oh well, it's fine. Okay, I need one more. That's a few fewer power poles. Should be okay. So the reason I cut the power there was to funnel all the power into that assembler and not spend any of it on the other miners. And in the same way here, I can place this there and mine only coal and not the other things for now. Now I'll just let this run until it runs out of power, and then I go back up there, yeah, which is right around now. Put that coal in and maybe repeat that a few times. At least this way it'll be working while I make my way back down here. is about to start becoming a problem but it shouldn't be a big one just yet but I will need to make sure to research this turret technology quite soon okay I'm gonna wait for this to save up one stack of coal before I go back up there
So now I can start the other miners back up again. And also keep that coal miner running as well. slightly though, so that it's easier to reach it from down here. Anyway, now we can continue making miners.
See if this is a run out of coal and just backed up now. Hopefully the miners are still running. And they are. Nice. So with that, uh, let's make some more things. So pollution looking, still looking okay. I feel like I need to make some radars. Oops. To keep vision of the entire base. One of the reasons I need radars. Although I suppose a radar would increase my power consumption by quite a lot, which in turn means I increase my pollution by quite a lot. So maybe I shouldn't do that quite yet. Maybe I should at least wait until I have turrets.
Should pick up the coal while I'm here. quite a lot of stuff here so let's make some more assemblers to speed things up a bit here that I can already make another miner. So, gun chart is only 40 signs, I think, right? Which means I have enough to make that now. Yeah, 40. I soon want to start building this already. The sooner you can transition into this, the better, or at least the nicer. Okay, need to get ready for facing this one. One attacks because that one probably is going to go straight for the power plant and if they kill that right now I'm just gonna die because I can't replace it uh, because once the power plant falls I can't craft anymore
I should place another miner here before I go. Or two. Maybe two. I don't have any power poles though. Which is a bit of a problem. a bit. Let's do it like that instead. Still doesn't quite work. That kind of works-ish. Mm, at least they will buffer up iron ore in those Furnaces. But I am going to need a lot more coal now. Fuel the power plant soon as well. Okay, I still had quite a few pieces there. Anyway, let's put some more in there. And also, actually while we're here, I have quite a lot of iron now. make belts out of all of that. Well, not all of it, but at least so that I can get a belt from here up to there. Like, I don't want to keep, the, keep it there permanently, but I don't think I want to move it just yet. I want to get rid of these trees before I move it permanently, and I want to do that with grenades. So we'll leave a bit of space here for expansion. So let's see, that is 90 belts. Thank you. 
turret finished. Perfect. Next, let's go into logistics. That's not going to do any anything right now because I haven't fed it anymore. But at least we have that queued up there. So, ah. Hmm. Guess I just have to make some more purples. Okay, looking good. Has the pollution hit them yet? No, not quite. Which means I still have a bit of time to make the turrets. And this is all stalled. Kind of expected. Logistics is eight. 
60 times 4 is 320. Uh, okay, I still have one assembler. Let's make a couple of more of those before I run out. Wait, maybe I shouldn't have done that. What I need to do now, most of all, is to make some turrets and some ammo and put up some defenses for the power plant. Before the first attack comes. Oh, whoops. Turns out I also need iron plates for the turrets. Uh, right, and I also need iron plates for the ammo. then. Now they have a turret, I don't need the pistol. should keep you ammo rounds on myself just so I don't die if I get attacked by biters. Okay, we have some defenses. Is the thing okay it's still working. Just er, going slowly. Whoops. After logistics, I think next priority is going to be military and damage upgrades. In no small part because last attempt died just because I didn't have uh, damage upgrades when medium biters showed up. 
And uh, yeah, medium biters. If you don't have any damage upgrades, just tear through yellow ammo turrets like nothing. surprise really it only really takes like a hundred seconds for it to stall <laughs> I think still plenty of fuel there good We certainly have a lot of iron now. If I want to start building this, I'm going to need a bunch of inserters, primarily. Which I'm going to need copper wires. Not iron sticks, copper wires. bunch of belts but not that much because I'm only really gonna build the first part of this and just manually take the iron out for now. started on that right away, I think. Right, and I don't need that side yet. So we'll have iron there, copper there, or coal there, rather.
one just run out. Oh, because that, okay. Let's see if we can clean out this just with the coal demand from this. Looks like they handle all the coal, mostly, almost. Temporary builders here. Oh, damage. Okay, that's no good. to replace the miner. Okay, it ate the coal buffer, that's rude. Plenty of those already, actually. Also repair this. And also go place that other steam engine.
tree. Power under control. Wait. Need to bring these with me. Okay, these still have not seen any combat. Now that I have more turrets, I can leave a few more here. Yep. Two should be good enough for now. Did I see a combat alert? Four kills, I think I did, yeah. Yes. Four small biters. After this is military, which needs 15, and then I need another 400. So 15 times that is 60. And then 400 times 4 is 1600. So that is enough all of the iron I need to research the damage upgrade. Another piece of combat. Another two kills. Okay, so let's build some things here. Here we make gears. Here we make a box 
for a moment or two. Then we make a belt. Here we make a circuit. Here we make inserter. Alright, this one needs two inserters to keep up. Let's limit that to 500. Science. I think I want... Actually, I just need more miners right now. Uh, I was about to say I want more gears. But... Oh yeah, and I also need more assemblers. Turns out. So looks like I can support about five or six more miners.
Right, and now I have logistics as well. So it's time to make a few of these and a few of these. into undergrounds. That's probably good enough for now. Okay, now I need more copper in the science. Turks took damage but survived. I have no more iron to make ammo. Okay, I can get up there and put in a few more, put up a couple more turrets with a bit more ammo in them. Probably have the. No, I am not going to risk it. If I lose the power plant, I lose the game, so. Again, I should keep a few rounds with me. I can actually make two. <laughs> there we go. like that was handled nicely.
Mortal Kombat. Still looking fine. Oh no, this is backed up. Oh, because this is out of coal. upgrade and now this one can support three labs so let's make a few more labs this with a chest of gears instead. Probably also start producing some ammo. just because I have not yet turned all of my wood into purple so I should do that too Should it be not quite all I need to get this damage upgrade actually. I need a bit more copper as well. I also should probably get some defenses. Yeah, these are getting angry now. Maybe they're moving out as we speak.
Wait, did I put more copper? No. I put it all in here. I should also just build a few more labs, just to speed this up a bit. So, lab... One... Two and three. Oh yeah, I should definitely also build more turrets. Just at the edge of what the power can handle. Maybe it's time for one more copper miner as well. I don't think quite yet, but soon definitely. How are these doing? Still 11. How are those doing? I want to go there and replenish the ammo. I need to ride on the purple. Oh, wow. That's a lot. From both sides. <laughs> wow. <laughs> they really zeroed in on me there, didn't, didn't they? Huh. Yeah. 
Yeah, I guess I really hate this part in, par in particular. longer. So this damage upgrade isn't actually going to do anything at all against the uh, yellow biters, because those already get killed in three shots by the yellow ammo, and that is not going to change with the damage upgrade. But it will dramatically increase the damage against medium biters. And it's nice to have that ready for when they come. Probably get some more furnaces down now. Probably as indefinitely, I think. So I'm gonna need to make some more miners and put one on stone and make more uh, furnaces. run I can just wait for it well, there we go actually we'll replace some of those Let's just make the furnaces here. I think I should be able to reach that chest from the other side, so that should be fine.
Let's see, is this enough to keep up? Doesn't look like it is. That is good in a way. Okay, that works. That is a bit ungood. Okay, looks like only one survived though. There's the broken power pole. Oh. And I can't make more power poles right now. I'm gonna need more copper money right about now, I think, so that I can make more turrets, mostly. And also more purples. But primarily tur turrets. I said more copper mines, so let's make more copper mines. Although I don't have any furnaces, that's a problem. Hmm.
Is it time to automate copper mining as well, maybe? Bring it down here. Probably, I think. Should also make a more permanent solution for the coal, I suppose. Although I might need a few more splitters. 13 to make all of it. Can just do a temporary thing for now. Uh, but okay, so that is going to mean that this whole thing will flip around. Like so. And like so. Now this whole thing breaks again. But it looks like that'll be fine, maybe? Probably not fine. Nope, not fine, but it's okay. Uh, why is that the wrong way? Three more pieces of wood, eh? Same thing here, this will all flip around except for the inserters. Actually, the inserters too. So there and there. Let's look, that looks right. And then this. Okay, looks like it should survive. Yeah, okay.
Okay, these have seen a bit of combat. But they're still doing okay. Don't think I wanna do this whole thing now. Yeah, let's see if we get some coal here. Should it? I think it should be done all the way now. Okay, there was one piece of coal there. Okay, more coal. Good. It means we can tear this down. And make one more splitter. Or a few. well. I now have enough ammo to go and take out a nest or two. That's good, but I think I'm gonna do a couple more things here before I leave. Like set up some more coal smel or copper smelting, for example. Well, more both more copper mining and smelting. Uh, I guess I should do this on the other side, or later. Do that later. Just pull it in here for now. Whoops. Wrong thing. Is ducks. Welcome back. Oh yeah, I am low on power. I should probably get that fixed as well. Oh, I'm that low on power? Uh, because that 
belt broke. Whoops. Well, I have plenty of coal. Fortunately. And I have both... Yeah, I have furnaces and iron, so I can just make some more power plant components while I'm up there. I am also going to need more miners for coal to to drive the power plant. How long is this run? Um, about three hours now. A bit shorter, I think. Uh, let's see. Uh, looks like it looks like I can't tell right now. But yeah, just short of three hours, I think. So, repair that belt. Turrets are still okay. Oh, wow. Gonna need more turrets. Silas Factory, yes I do. I have played it a bit. So, more power plant components. We need a few pipes first. And then we need a boiler or two. Or three. And at this point it's probably prudent to make a few spare parts as well. So let's do that. One spare boiler. And a whole bunch of steam engines. That's three... okay, four. Okay, that's all the spares I need. And I hopefully won't be building this power plant out much more at this location. Hopefully I can get by on this until I can move the power plant. Okay, that tree's still in the way. Can I fit this in? Oh, I can. Cool. See, I know. Oh, oh. As I was saying, <laughs> now I am going to need to build a bun a whole lot more miners for coal. Someone did a no dismantling runs in Factoria or Sidus Factory. <laughs> Never finished, okay. <laughs> Could be a nice addition if I 
playing this one day too easy. Yeah. I, um... Yeah, that's gonna be difficult. If dismantling also includes, like, building over belts like this, then that's gonna be definitely very challenging to do. <laughs> because you're so short on resources at the beginning. Hmm. Uh, well, I was going to make... Um... Miners. And meanwhile, let's build a few more turrets here. Oh, I have a bunch of those already. Okay. So let's see. I have a maximum of... Yeah, I have eight steam miners, four boilers, which means I need about four miners on coal. Uh, so that's enough. Rotate must be allowed, yeah. Seems sensible. In that case, I mean, building over like this, does that count as rotating? Because if it doesn't, then I'm in no particular mood to try that challenge. <laughs> if it does, then maybe someday. Probably not. You would say it does. Um, so this would be allowed, yeah. Seems sensible. I think still probably not, as in I probably won't try that challenge, but yeah, you know, you never know. Maybe now it's time to build radars as well, actually. These? These still haven't shot anything, these turrets over here. Hmm. I would have expected there to have been attacks from here. From Well, I, we saw one that attacked me while I was here. But it doesn't seem like they're attacking much else. Which is a bit concerning. Okay, maybe it's also time to go take out some of the nests. The damage upgrade is about to be done, which is nice. Again, it's not going to do, going to do just about anything against um, small boilers, but it will definitely do something against the spawners, I think, and probably also the worms. Can I see a worm from here? Yes, I can. Yeah, those have. Let's see, they don't have any damage, damage reduction, do they? Looks like no. 
Okay, so... Yeah, it'll kill these a bit faster. Not by a lot, but at least something. Um, yeah, for that I need more turrets, no? So let's repurpose these for turrets. And I need more coal, or copper rather. Physical projectile damage done. Let's get started on electronics. So that I can get the fast inserters, which will help me get full throughput in all the science makeries and stuff like that. Uh, let's take half of that and put it here. It's maybe a few more than I need. It's good to have them though. Okay, so let's get these back to making gears. comfy start so far. I haven't been too much pressure from the biters. I've been able to just chug along with this star base here. Just making progress on the sciences. Yeah. Feeling pretty good. use some more iron but I can't really use it anyway so whatever. Let's take this and let's move out and kill a nest. Oh wait, first I need to make repair packs. Well that should be... Uh, okay. Right, that's what I needed the gears for. Gonna be good for like 50 yeah repair packs which is way more than I need let's just find some space up here is okay
Yeah. Messing this up. Well, they're they're going. <laughs> Should be enough. Now we'll go take this one out first because that's that's the one that's hitting us hardest. Oh, I have a science pack. <laughs> Should probably dump that in a lab somewhere. Oh, more binder nests. Yay. So now I need to keep an eye on the minimap to get a bit of warning in case there's a biter attack coming. Shouldn't be a problem. I have plenty of turrets and plenty of ammo, so shouldn't be a problem unless I get really surprised. Let's not get stuck on the cliff. Okay, there is an attack party on the minimap. We haven't moved out yet, though. Oh no, it's a base, okay. What do you know? Good thing I have a lot of ammo. Let's put a few safety turrets here. Without a hitch. Will I be coming back this way? Probably, yeah, so I can leave the belt here. barely any worms here, which makes this quite easy. Small biters in the way. Rude. Let's kill the worm, thank you. Wow, there's a lot of nests here. Maybe I, I was a bit too optimistic about this map. We shall see eventually, I suppose. Did I not put enough? No, I didn't, okay. It's a shame. Would have liked the research to keep going when I was out here. Okay, no turret losses so far. That's good. 
Only about a hundred ammo spent. Also good. This one has more worms in it. Should be okay. Quite a lot of worms, actually. I think we'll be fine. Disaster averted. Okay. That was a scare. Oh, they're eating the coal or a copper. That's too bad, I can't do anything about that right now. Are they gonna eat the entire base? They are gonna eat the entire base. Because I have no turrets down here. Ah, uh, that's a game, but I think I can recover from that. That's a problem with not being hit hard enough by the players early, because you, if you don't set up any turrets, this kind of thing can happen. Let's see if there's anything left of the base when I get back there. So on the bright side, this is going to mean my pollution drops for a while. Are they setting up an expansion? Or are they returning? Huh. Okay. Well, if they're not gonna eat the entire base, that's a good result. And in particular, if they're not going to eat the ammo buffer, that's very good. another attack wave. Yeah, I think my base is kind of doomed, probably. some copper and circuits in my inventory, right? Yeah, okay, so I can recover from this. Okay, I think that was the last of them.
I'll oh, leave a few of them here. Project rebuild. Where do I start? Uh, I need some power poles somewhere. There's one. Where else? All the way here. Does that do it? But it is connected up here, yep. Okay, so most of the assemblers survived, that's good. Many of the miners survived. None of the labs survived. Okay, that gets those running again. You will make miners. Okay, they didn't eat the uh, circuit buffer either. That's also very fortunate. They did eat the belt buffer though. Looks like we're mostly recovered already. Just need to rebuild some of the labs as well. I think three labs should be fine for now because I these technologies I'm doing now are a bit faster to research. Let's grab a few more circuits. I need to rebuild the coal or copper rather as usual okay and this has to move
So, of the things they destroyed, I'm kind of most bummed about the power poles, actually. Because those are finite resources at this point. Okay, we have some copper. This desert map was also brutal, yeah. This hasn't been that brutal so far. It was mostly this attack that I was a bit unprepared for. But yeah, apart from that, it's been quite peaceful. But yeah, I guess I'm going to see more attacks coming now. Uh, let's see, I need more inserters. need to rebuild the thing up there to the copper. Okay, these are still looking fine. I think there was an attack here, wasn't there? Oh, okay, there was an attack somewhere. But it doesn't look like it was here. Oh, there it is, okay. Looks like it's only the stone miner that's not yet back in action. Oh wait, also the coal, copper, coal line here. It's also broken. That should do it though. Don't need those anymore. I 
left, so maybe that one should also have a couple of turrets actually. Like we have pretty good turret coverage. Not quite all of the iron miners are, miners are covered, but I think we'll be fine. We have some more ammo coming in. Let's make some more turrets. That's enough to finish this and then some. I think I'm gonna get steel eggs quite soon. Uh, turret. Most thing to do. Oh, can just put another there. is needed here. Gears. Chronic's finished, let's get the steel axe. Oh, for which I need steel, okay. I should keep some... ah, never mind, I can get more coal from the buffer up there. Okay, handle better this time.
So maybe now it's time to start actually transitioning into this more permanent base here. But maybe before that I should set up the signs actually. It might be sensible actually. So we have iron there and copper there. And this doesn't quite fit in between one set of walkways, but it does definitely fit within two walkways. So let's place it like there, I think. And then probably the labs down here. Or maybe labs up here and keep building down. Might be better. Where do I do oil processing here? Uh, because I probably want to keep this forest. Because it helps with pollution. Uh, so I don't want to build here. Uh, this is way too... Way too messy, the water. Maybe over here I can do oil processing. So yeah, I guess uh, then I can fit some blue signs in here if I just pipe the liquids in there. That should be fine, I think. So yeah, let's make the things I need for science. For the red, I'm going to need 11. That's all I need for red, and for the green, I'm going to need another. I'm going to need 32 in total. So this isn't quite enough to build all of that, but it's an okay start. of circuits okay I'm not expecting attacks from here so I'll leave a bit less ammo in those Steel processing it's 200 packs, which means I need some more in there.
So at this point I can support 15 miners, so I can make three more without having to expand the furnaces here. That seems like a good idea. Is the one that attached the entire base. <laughs> okay, I guess I'm gonna need a miner there as well eventually. Starting to take damage. Maybe I need, need a few more turrets there. Right, now I was going to make sites. What's the plan? Do I do that or do I move over to here? Maybe I move over to here first. I think I want to move over to, over to there first. actually matter. So first of all we'll set up this for inserters. to make those and then I need a bunch more to make this.
Just limit all these chests to one stack for the moment. That's what I want. I'll wait with this one in case I don't have enough inserters, which is quite likely I don't. Looks like I have just enough, actually. Uh, yeah. Go back out this way. We don't need turrets down here, because it's in the middle, and they're shielded off by that. Ooh, here are mediums. So I'm very glad I have the damage upgrade al already. These chests, no. Limit that one to two. Oh, I have no gears there, okay. Just make some inserters here then. Probably don't need this anymore. either. So now do I clean up the power poles? 
a little bit at least, I think. I still don't have any output inserters on the copper. Still looking okay there. Uh, is this working? Should work when this comes down here and this starts at least. Okay, time to turn these down. with a one minor right now. I will, however, bother a bit with this. Maybe I should also pick up the chests that I made. channel. So yeah, as you've, uh, as you've gathered from the stream title and the description, this is a challenge run. And yeah, it's a pretty fun one, I think. 
really c recontextualizes a lot of things in the game. So let's see here. What else do we need to do? We need to set up these as inserters as well. How's power looking? Power looking okay. And then we need some inserters up there. Okay, and this is starting to actually look like a factory now. Okay, still looking okay here. Were there spitters? No, okay, that was the other wave that hit here. Okay. And those are limited. Good. Right, uh, let's get some of these in place. Okay, I'm kind of missing the walkway in between here now. So I could actually squeeze it back in here, I suppose. Maybe I should. Can just displace this whole thing one tile to the right. Maybe that's worth doing. Not sure. Oh, the science is still going. I had not actually expected that. will survive. Yeah, okay. Let's bump it up to 500 and 100. This can stay at 50. Okay, that's all that I need for now from this. Actually not quite. I would like to set this up to make miners and uh, assemblers. <laughs> you struggle even playing on Death World with no challenges at all? Yeah, it is a bit tough for the first time, few times. Once you get used to the game start to yeah being able to do these kinds of things with not too much trouble limited 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 good and make miners first i think this one is limited i think yeah That's enough chests for the moment. So we'll repurpose this for ammo instead. Bump it up to a thousand limit. Let's actually keep that one there. Ah, uh, never mind. This is low on plates. Yeah, okay. Oh wait. This belt is a bit messed up.
can I reach it? Okay. Uh, let's dump all the gears in there. And copper to match. That's close enough. Uh, so let's actually move that around a bit. So I can mine this. Okay, I'm going to need to reinforce both that and that. Uh, kind of now. Yeah, that is freshly reinforced, and let's also bump this one up to a few more turrets. Can also place a few more better turrets on this side because those cliffs uh, provide a pretty good tact tact ah, tactical advantage there. In that, if I just barely cover the entrance, then I can shoot the biters when they're coming in in a trickle instead of coming in all at once. Same thing here, actually, which is probably why these are holding up so well, with no attendance at all. Oh, now all the iron is going into the gear buffer and the ammo. Okay, let's disable that for now. Okay, I guess the uh, miners are also consuming some of it. Oh, here it comes. So let's see. I think this is actually a pretty good location for it. These can stay on this side. I don't think I need much more here. Whoops. Okay, there's 50 ammo in one of them, but that's okay. This is a low attack. Glad I have those turrets. out now so that I can finish this iron smelter here. Did 
Yeah, on that note, I think it's also time to set up the turret assembler. Let's move this over to making assemblers. That one can stay. Let's also prepare this for fast inserters once I get them. To put one here. Uh, limit 100 fast inserters. This one also doesn't have an output. I guess I can solve those with uh, bigger purples when I have them. Uh, so. Here's the turret. Limit to one stack and set the recipe. And now we just need to wait for resources to come in. Dump a few plates in there. And a few gears as well. Steel axe give. That is two hundred. So I'm going to need much more than what's in here. Actually, not that much more.
let's not get stuck on the wreck. That would be certainly unfortunate. Uh, I could just mine it and remove it, but I don't want to. So if I can avoid it, that's nice. That is preferred. So now let's see. These are 32. That is more than one belt. Which means I need another splitter. And then we'll do a balancer, a lane balancer here. Right, so that should give me a full belt of iron plates now. Oh! And hopefully... Yeah, those two turrets are gonna die, but these should be able to pick up the slack, I think. Hopefully, maybe? If not those, then those, maybe? Please? <laughs> okay. We're good. But I do probably need to get some more science going so that I can get more damage upgrades. Yeah, the next one is going to require um, green signs, which I do not yet have, but I can set it up quite soon, I hope. I don't think they destroyed anything else in the turrets, right? So let's see, we have six more turrets there. It's not enough to shore up the defenses, but it's a start at least. I think now we can restart this ammo assembler. Oh, we're low on copper. It's also a good problem to have. Let's have this make miners again. Take all of this. Leave one assembler in there. Can also set these up to make repair packs and radars. One stack, one stack, good. up there. Let's take all of that, all of that, all of that. Let's see, do we have any miners now? Okay, a few miners. With which to expand copper production.
Oh yeah, here I can make the power poles. That's a good use of these. I'm going to set that one. Uh, okay, we're fine. Yeah, I probably want to set those turrets up before I go up to the copper. Probably angle the copper mine the other way to have the belt run horizontally instead. Whoops. No, the wreck. Oh well. Well, on the bright side that frees up a bit of iron. Mourners, miners more than I need that many copper miners. So let's repair this first. at least working. <laughs> it's no more than what I... well, it's one more minor than when I went up there. 
But at least it's working. Why am I going here? Shouldn't be going down below instead. Oh, these have seen combat too. Looks like they're holding up better now. Only one turret. Ugh. Yeah, I really need more copper. Let's disable those for a moment. Yeah, I need to pick up miners as well. Okay, still 36. That's still fine. Okay, now the turrets are coming in. Come on. Well, at least it's only belts for now. Uh, let's see where they go. Uh, I only have one turret. I should not go this close. A few power poles and underground belts, but other than that, it's pretty fine. Nom nom nom, yep. Okay, so... Oh, there were a lot of power poles they destroyed. Some things are back in order. Now everything is back in order. And I need more turrets. Probably also ammo. So let's take this. Actually, this one can keep being disabled. Move this all the way out here. And make ammo out of all of the surplus. Oops, wrong one.
Only eight turrets, that's not great. Okay, well there are a few more now. See how that does. Now can I get back to finishing the copper before anything else gets eaten, please? Oh, there's iron on the map. That's very nice. And good to know. Would also be nice to know where the oil is. No oil in sight yet. Should appear soon, though. Goes down there. Merges in there. Don't need a balancer, do I? No. Uh, should I? I should just build this out fully while I'm here. Which means I might need to move these turrets a bit. Turrets should have it, I think. Okay, those turrets actually had it. Yeah, I really need damage upgrades very soon. still standing. That one needs to be reinforced. That one has 14 turrets. That's good. I have no furnaces.
Okay, I feel a bit safer now with these turrets. Just need to get them placed. Also, restart this. Oh no. I was hoping I'd get back there before they come again. Looks like we're okay though. Oh, but they're attacking here as well. Think that might be okay. Yeah, okay. They did destroy some miners. But at least the turrets are standing. Alright, now it's really time to expand the signs or rebuild the red and green signs I planned over there. So let's grab the turrets, let's grab the ammo. Can probably disable this ammo for now. I don't think I wanna go take out the nests right now. Because I think I need some more damage upgrades before I can safely do that. Eight turrets is a bit too little, but ten, I think, is kind of good at the moment. Plenty of assemblers. I can use more miners. I can use a lot more inserters. I 
This really is going to be very exposed, isn't it? Oh well, it is what it is. I don't think I want to build it anywhere else. Hmm, by the way though, I should make labs. Lab. Uh, take those and put in. Let's see, it's ten. Four. Okay, so this will be good for twenty-five. That's good. So this splits to there. And this needs to go there. And this time I've remembered to bring power. Safe while on my way, please. <laughs> wow, this is a big wave. Ooh, that's very big. spitters as well. Okay, looks like the turrets are going to survive. Yeah, just barely. Okay. So I guess I need to reinforce that as well. What am I doing wrong this time? Am I just not aggressive enough in killing nests, maybe? It's usually not this... ...this many attacks this early, I think. So yeah, maybe it is just that I should have gone out and taken out these nests earlier. Walls would also help a lot here, actually, since these are still mostly biters. But I don't have walls set up yet, or even researched. Maybe I shouldn't be doing steel axe right now. Maybe I should be doing walls and damage upgrades instead. <laughs> they very strategically destroyed one tile of the belt there. Let's 
see if that holds up any better. Third walls is the answer, yeah. Walls of turrets. They do work pretty well though. So I will give them that. Which is a problem, because I can't make any more purples before I get this steel technology. Steel purples, that is. Uh, so, I'm gonna have to be a bit creative here. Also, let's place turrets out here. Everything is within coverage. Conservative with power poles here. Which the labs? Feed a few more labs with this. I just need to rush these sizes, really. All right. So, what else is there to do? I'm kind of running out of ammo. So 
I think let's pause this for now. Let's pause this. So yeah, I have plenty of those. Let's keep making turrets. Pause those. Uh, I don't really need that much belt right now. Let's pause these as well. And this. I don't really need all the all the labs. Okay, so now we will have more out. Ammo flowing into or iron flowing into ammo. Is the coal supply still working? Yes, it is. I just need more miners. Okay. Now I have miners. Good. I have turrets. I have ammo. Yeah. Purples. So we will have to move these a bit. It's not quite enough. firepower here as well. Balls at all. Okay, that one needs to move. power is what? 5 megawatts? That is 12 megawatts and I'm using 5 in the power plant. Okay, so that should be just about enough.
Yeah, we're running out of ammo now. What's that science doing? Okay, it's doing it best, it seems. Yeah. Doing its best with the power poles it has. Should probably take down a few of the power poles here from the coal, because I'm not really using them. And when I said coal, again I meant copper. At least we have plenty of turrets still. Do we have any ammo? Okay, 300 more ammo, that's good. for now. Not don't need this anymore. Save one power pole, save two power poles. It's 32 is still working, that's good. Don't need to replace them just yet, because they're still saturating the belt. Should probably place a radar somewhere around here, just to make sure I always have vision here. So if I want to complete and build one, two, three, four, five, six, seven at minimum barbels I need to make green science. Oh, here's an assembler I haven't built. Oops. Okay, so I can build this as well without needing any more barbels. So that's seven. Yeah. Okay. So let's build green side as well. So I can get that up and running quickly once I get to the thing, thing imaging technology for green science. This is not that; it's that. health remaining. Green science done, very good. Next I need electric energy distribution.
Did I get Steel Axe? I think I did, right? Yeah, nice. Just to make sure I'm not killed while I work here. right now. Uh, is this one working? Uh, no. I don't actually want to do that. Okay, science is happening, finally. Yeah, this is gonna need to be fast in service. Can I do that quickly? I guess I can do that. To speed this up a tiny bit. All the labs are working. And I have no more power poles, so I cannot build any more labs right now. I don't think. It's, that's gonna take a while. To be precise, it's gonna take 240 seconds if these keep working at full speed. No. <laughs> 240 minutes. Which is four hours. Uh, that is too long. That is very much too long. <laughs> um, is there anything I can do to get that faster? So I need to place more labs to make that happen. Can I do that? Okay, I can recycle a few purples from in there. Some things that I'm not using fully right now. So that is 6 and 16, so 22, 25 laps, okay. Oh. Twenty-five laps. Uh, let's put in a few more belts in here. It's fifty. If I want to go to like 40, that means I need 15 more, that means I need 60 more belts.
Nice, one power pole. Two power pole. Oh. Huh. They came from here, it seems. Looks like there's a new nest there. Maybe. Should have taken that ammo. I'll do it when I come back. So I will take... Not actually those, I will take these. And also these. See, I really don't want to lose any more power poles from here. Kind of that. It's four hours if I only have one lab. So with 16 hours, it's half an hour. Or 16 labs, it's half an hour. No, it's one fourth of an hour. That is much more reasonable. Oh, that's low on iron. Oh. There, okay. Got there in the end. Output full. Oh, there's not enough gears in here. Because this is not fast enough. Okay. Nothing I can do about that right now. Okay, that technology is coming along. Oh, power is starting to struggle. Uh, 
Okay, that's still standing. The size. Yeah, it's still working at full speed. It's good. Looks like I accidentally balanced almost perfectly. I'm not producing much more science than I'm using right now. Oh no, 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 no. Do I have spares of those? I have just a few spares of those, okay. So I can recover from this. Just barely. got a use for the spare power plant parts. Uh, although, yeah, I do have a couple of power poles. So let's cut the power for now. And let's see. 
Let's also place a few turrets. Let's do that first, actually. Cannot see what they're eating. I think yeah, it's the miners. All right, so now steam engine. Spend all of the iron on this though. That's some of it. There are turrets in there, so I think they should be able to handle it. Okay, let's stop there. Make another of those. Need to Place the offshore pump as well. So I need to make those and those. We're back to the early game. I'll continue making those. Can I not put it there anymore? Huh. That's weird. Oh, now I can, okay. For some reason. Okay, so now I can make another spare. Or two. Let's see how many more of these we can make. None. Okay. So I guess we'll have to just reconnect the power with this. And now everything is out of power. So I need iron. And I need this to not die. Uh, I have a boiler, I have a sh offshore pump. I think I can get down here and get iron to make... No, I'm not going to take my chances. I'm going to bring one of these with me. So now the entire base is running on this one <laughs> dimension. On the bright side, it does reduce my pollution output. So there's that. Spiders will be slightly less, less angry in the near future, but not for long, of course. Uh. 
This is a bit scary. Fortunately, the defenses are not running on, on electricity. So there's that. Oh, this almost isn't able to keep up. It isn't able to keep up, actually. Well, that's not a huge problem as long as I can get the steam engines back in order. Okay, there's a blackout. So, if I can recover from this, then that means that the one steam engine I had as a spare will have saved me. And offshore pump, I suppose, as well. I still need more power poles. Oh, but I have these. Oh, I have some wood. Huh. Why didn't I think of that earlier? On the right side, that means I can use it now. When I need it arguably the most, so... I should probably have brought, have brought a bit more iron, because this is only going to be enough for, yeah, one steam engine. Well, it's more than nothing. that and make that and again not taking my chances oh here they come the steam engine survived. Yeah, there were a lot of spitters here. Answer to spitters is DPS. That's a tree. Can I not shoot the tree? Shoot enemy. Okay. There we go. Unfortunate that I had to fire the pistol, but that's okay. Uh, this is still not able to keep up, so we're having a blackout again. Let's see if there's any more iron I can pick up.
So I need what? Eight steam engines? Six more steam engines? No, yeah, six more steam engines. And a bunch more boilers. Three more, to be precise. So that's 300, a bit over 300 iron. And now the other uh, iron in them. Oh, these do. Okay. Because I hadn't finished those. Okay. It's a fortunate accident. Fell. That is acceptable. Actually, I'll continue going this way. I still don't feel like I'm dead here. I still feel like I can recover from this. If I play it right. Take those as well. Actually, going around here, so I'm in the middle of the turrets this time. So, make things. Steam engines, and pipes, and boilers. Six steam engines.
Who's in the way? Okay. There. Okay. Things are running again. At a suboptimal speed, but at least non-zero speed. Okay, I don't have enough to make another steam engine. That's unfortunate. Still no oil in sight, that's unfortunate. That probably means I'm gonna need to make trains to get to the oil safely. Oh, and I need to start making steel as well. Oops. I have five purples, so I can set up a couple of uh, furnaces for that. I can also just hand feed them for a bit. That is allowed, I suppose. But I do need a bit more iron input in order to actually get any volume of steel. But okay, so let's split this down here oh it's here That will at least start smelting some steel. This needs to come down somehow, like that maybe. slightly differently. Let's just go around.
So now let's see. I can make this like that. Right, now let's do military. Hmm. Right. We'll go up and fetch some steel and then get this running. Oh, Military 2 is coming along at a blistering pace compared to that. And I dumped the steel or the iron sticks into the assembler there. Maybe not the brightest idea. But here we go. And replace that. Okay, now this is running for real. Except I don't actually have steel on the belt yet. Leave it to one stack of big ones, one stack of the sticks, and 200 of those. Okay, so now I can actually start building again. Starting with the steel furnace. Good, damage upgrade too. Oh yeah, that's what happens here. We need to do that and that and that.
Let's actually flip these around. So that these get uh, preferentially the steel. I guess I'm, yeah, I'm really making the power struggle now. But I think it kind of can't be helped right now. Upgrade cannot come soon enough. <laughs> So now let's see here, 
This is 52. That's almost two belts. From two directions. Okay, that's fine. That's starting to be not fine. Uh, let's see here. Uh, this needs to... be balanced and this also needs to be balanced somehow and then these two merge there goes there and one goes there. Yeah, that'll work. Probably. <laughs> that was a furnace on that belt. <laughs> I think I'm starting to bounce back here.
So let's see what we can do here. Okay, maybe this wasn't quite as bad as I thought, actually. Ow, that's gonna be bad, though. Unless they go over here. Which I don't think they will. Or maybe they will. We'll see. Oh, okay. That also works. That's not great. Uh, I'm gonna need a lot more power. But I have... Yeah, I have military too now, so I can make grenades and clear the trees here. I would need to set it up though. Do I have ammo here? Not a lot, yeah. Really run running low on iron. This should probably have a priority. I don't think it actually matters right now. Because I'm not able to consume all of that steel. But anyway. What I need to do now is essentially start making red ammo, take out these nests and claim this iron uh, outpost here. And I need to make a lot more ammo than I am right now. Can probably pause the turret production for a while. Can pause this as well. I can pause that one. Anything else I can pause? I can pause the inserters. I need to resume the belts. to reinforce there. Okay, those came from this kind of angle, so Put this at that angle.
Okay, so now all that remains on this science build is to upgrade some inserters to fast inserters. Which I don't have the technology for just yet. Maybe I should take that techno technology to speed it up. That actually gives me a bit of time to start buffering up some green science packs, so yeah, let's do that. I am still technically producing more ammo than I'm consuming, at least. Uh, is that still true in the last 10 minutes? 421... okay, yeah, it's still true. Uh, please survive. Okay, just barely survived. Now let's pause that one too. Let's even pause the entire steel production, actually. No, actually no. Because I already have a priority on against that one. Ah. They must have come through here. the way it's gonna be. I don't have ammo for this. Wow. Yeah, the medium biters are the problem. They're just tanking the shots and the spitters are doing all the damage. Continue that. Make and make. Can I see evolution right now? No, okay. Oh, here. 
Uh, spawner evolution is 32%, okay. Still... Still not quite close to big biters, at least. <sighs> yeah, they're really hitting hard now. Okay, there's more ammo, fortunately. And there are inserters, so I can upgrade this. Don't think I need more than these right now. Yeah, I don't need more than those. Whoops. Wrong way. Oh, wait. These are low on coal. Yeah, I guess in part because I'm low on power. A bit at least. <laughs> yeah, I really need to get this damage upgrade. That will help a lot against the medium miters. I think it takes it up to like eight damage or something. Which effectively triples the damage, or quadruples the damage against the uh, medium biters. Critical weak point right now is this. So we'll go there first. Let's see if I can reach these. Yeah, okay, okay. A few inserters here.
This should now be working full speed, assuming I can supply it with materials. Beef it up just a bit more. It's gonna survive even. Just barely. Oh, and I'm out of belts. That's awkward. through here. I thought they were just killing the copper mine. Uh, that's not too bad. It's annoying, but not too bad. like that was the last one. Oh, the belts are still connected. <laughs> Didn't expect that.
Okay, it's still holding. Okay, need some repairs here. Looks like that was the extent of the damage, I think. Yeah, this is all still looking okay. this is completely exposed now. Physical projectile damage too, please save me from this. Looks like that is all back in order, and I am completely out of ammo, and this is also running out of ammo. Do I have ammo here? Barely. What is all the iron used, being used for? Gears? Yeah, it looks like gears, and science, and turrets. should fix some of the iron shortage. That is almost completely dead already.
Still 45 miners, so we should be able to supply this belt with a full belt of iron. Uh, what's wrong with this? Okay, it's just buffering up there. We'll have a bit of a power problem. Maybe it's time to fix that. Okay, this is moving again. Ah, uh, this is not where I was going. I was going down here. So, steam engine. Pump, boiler, and furnace. No? No, right. Uh, off by one. This is pipe. Uh, 10 is good for now. Uh, this one... Good. Yeah, okay, that's fine. We're fine. We're fine for the moment. Don't really need more boilers right now. But I do need more steam engines. This does mean I'm no longer getting any iron into the ammo here. Which might become a problem very shortly. Let's see if this hero can fix this. Not quite. And I'm 
out of turrets, so I need to restock on turrets. I really need that damage upgrade to finish, like, now. Otherwise I'm going to die very soon. Probably move those turrets out to the choke point here. Did they cut the power? No, they cut the coal belt, okay. Come on, damage upgrade. There, finally. Now let's get shooting speed as well. Why are there only small ones from here? Hmm. 
Okay. Four steam engines should be fine. Let's pause all of this. Uh, what else do I need? Don't need splitters really. Can use a few pipes. Need those. Don't really need those. Should actually dump a few of these in here to make that stack up faster. Stack up to the limit. Still doing damage, but it's at least a lot more manageable done with this upgrade. Oh, isn't it? Oh, was this also just one of the uh, uh, plus ten percent? Yeah, that's also just plus ten percent. Okay. Hmm. That means I need military science like immediately. Uh, okay. What are these doing? Oh yeah, that is not looking good. That is not looking good. Can pick up a few more turrets. So we build military signs. And for that I need... Oh, I need walls as or... Yeah, walls, but bricks specifically. Yeah, I might be dead this time. These are here out here are still looking okay-ish. But I need to get up here and reinforce this. So that'll be around here. This will take me all the way up. Good. Uh, so that will be... Say... There. 
fit it so that I can have that walkway in between. So we're still okay. Squeeze one more turret in there. To be safe. Right, I also need to reinforce that, which I don't really have ammo for. So I'm just gonna have to hope that it can hold out for a moment longer. This iron is also dwindling. At what rate am I consuming that right now? 54,000 per hour, so three more hours before I'm dead. In those three hours, I need to go out and take this iron ore. Right, I need more ammo. fell. I'm also gonna grab some turrets while I'm down here. That's a better amount of ammo. Uh. survive. Um, but another wave is coming. <laughs> okay, only lost one turret. I think I may have had like 100 ammo in it at the time though, which is a bit unfortunate. So they're coming from both those directions. Hmm.
Okay, let's see if we can get enough time to build some science. Also, by the way, I am going to need more assemblers, right? Yeah, 20. And I need 32. Okay, so not a lot more. turn the tables, but at least this damage upgrade did help a lot. I think I can re-enable these now. Get a few more of those. Past inserters ready. should build some more labs as well. Let's do that first. Okay, let's continue with the next shooting speed. Actually, you know, let's do military science. I think it's time to push this out a bit before I start building here. Hello, Cyclomatic. Cyclomactic. Thank you for the raid. Welcome, everyone. As you can see here, I'm doing a challenge run in which, most of all, or most importantly, I'm not walking, as you can see. 
Uh, which is quite a challenge, but also quite fun, I think, because it recontextualizes the game in a lot of ways. <laughs> this looks interesting, yeah? I hope so. sometimes told people that, uh, yeah, I wouldn't recommend anyone to try a no-walking run at some point, because it's it teaches you all kinds of interesting things about the game. And then people are like, yeah, maybe not. So yeah, I know that it's definitely not for everyone. But I like it. Uh, currently recovering from a bit of a... Or at least trying to recover from a bit of a... Problem with the biter infestation. Uh, we're starting to bounce back a bit now that we have the uh, damage upgrade level 2. Uh, which doesn't change everything right away, but at least it does make things a bit better. Uh, like this. Uh, in this game mode, turrets are consumables. And that is okay. At least until I get to Robos and Flamethrowers. At that point, that is the point where from which it starts to get difficult to lose. But until then, it definitely is very possible to lose. I don't think I need Defender Robots because I don't really uh, move into combat on my own. Let's resume the shooting speed upgrade. Because as you can imagine, if you're not allowed to walk and you just have to move around like, like this, then there's not a lot you can do in combat on your own. Uh, it's a lot more efficient to just pop down a couple of turrets at your feet instead and stuff like that. So things that are usually very powerful against uh, biters in normal game modes uh, like grenades and cars and tanks and stuff like that are quite useless for combat in this kind of challenge. Because I don't want to be near enough to the biters to have use for grenades. Uh, I will still get grenades, uh, but mostly to just clear trees. Uh, okay. Those should die before they can do any real damage. Uh, and now I ran out of assemblers, so I'm gonna have to go fetch a few more. I forgot to do that when I was down there. Any mods? Uh, only one, and it's only this, Disco Science. Uh, all it does is cosmetically change the lights on the labs. Uh, that is the only mod I'm using. <laughs> well. Good thing is that is my walkway belt, which is isn't actually moving any resources, so that's fine that they're eating that. Uh, let's make, turn this back over to miners. Ah, miners, I say. And leave one assembler in here as a placeholder and disable those. I would like them to step into turret range though. <laughs> Oh well. So yeah, uh, right here I'm building military science. Which is going to be the next major milestone so that I can get red ammo and also the next damage upgrades. Uh, let's get in there. Might run out of inserted. No, okay, I'm not gonna run out of inserters. Never mind. Yeah, this belt still needs to go that way.
Okay, what else? Don't need that anymore. Can you stop? Okay, now they're actually destroying the copper belt. Uh, I have a lot of copper buffered up though, so I don't think I really need to attend that right away. On the other hand, I can't also I also can't really finish this anyway. Um, because I don't have any uh, stone smelting right now. Okay, let's deal with that. Do I need to go up there? Probably. Okay, let's disable these again. I guess they're taking all the iron. And I need that iron for ammo. <clears throat> Right, so while I'm here, maybe it's time to set up some stone smelting. Need 24. Cannot squeeze that in here, but I can squeeze it in like that if I want to. Uh, oh, I can actually... Yeah, I can actually squeeze it in here if I squeeze it in there. Seems fine, I suppose. Or there. No, I think I want it pointing that way. So, yeah, let's do that. These haven't really been seeing a lot of action, so I'm not going to leave a lot of ammo in these. Uh, let's see. There. Looks like I'm... Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Cyclomactic, but no worries. I have no intentions of making this a job or anything like that, so no worries. Thank you. 
So then let's see how this will work. Maybe something like this. And what about coal? Let's just do something like this for now. We'll figure out the coal eventually. So there's all the stone input and stuff, and two inserters. Now I need to get coal in here. So I think the easiest... oh! What happened? Oh, coal belt is cut. Okay. Good to know. I think the easiest way is going to be to bring the coal in from up here. Should have fit this in with a walkway, but never mind. Uh, let's get this out. Something like this. And there. Let's go fix the coal belt. Alright, thanks for hanging around, Cyclomatic. Cyclomactic, even. <laughs> Just beat her on this. Yeah. Yeah. About that. <laughs> Anyone want to guess how long my first successful attempt at this took? You're by Cyclone, okay? Uh, no. Okay. Okay, they did not eat the signs. So yeah, anyone want to guess at how long it took to... Where's this? Nox 82 guesses 60 hours. <laughs> you would say 400 hours? Sixty hours is actually exactly correct. Uh, let's see. Okay. 
Okay, now I'm completely out of ammo, which means if I get jumped, I'm not gonna survive. But... that's okay. Alright, I came up here with a plan to expand power, and I never did, so I guess I should do that now. This tree is in the way, but that's... we can work with that. What do I, what do I win? You get to start your own challenge? Yeah, that's like a good idea. It's actually a great time to start using these power poles somehow, like there. And this is also a great time to get eaten by biters by removing all the turrets. all the steam engines I had, which is a bit dangerous actually, so I should make sure I have some spares down here. Shouldn't take too long. Still not enough, but at least it's closer to enough. Spend my last pieces of ammo there. For the moment, loving the confidence. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you can't get too confident in this. That's how you die. Because, as we all know, overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. red ammo. This is yellow ammo. So I'll go in there on this. And here I will need blue inserters, but I don't really have them right now, so these will have to do. Okay, now 
what are they eating? They're eating that. Okay, that's still standing though. Is this enough to power? No. See if there are any ghosts remaining here. Um, ghost filter. Move that to there. Move that to there. And one underground belt is up there. Okay. No ghosts. Good. So this is finished. I just need to connect the resources. Steel goes up here. along with copper. I'm not using pipe or stone for instance as cheap early walls, no. Uh, because moving is difficult in this. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Moving is difficult, which means building is also difficult. And also keeping things... Uh, keeping things uh, repaired is a bit difficult. Because you need to run around all over the place all the time. So the, the biggest problem I'm having uh, at this stage of the game is not that I'm running out of ammo in the turrets. It's that the turrets are running out of... Um, the, the shirts are getting destroyed, actually, which is mostly due to the spitters, because the uh, the biters tank the shots, and then the spitters just wreck the turrets with damage from behind the spitter or from behind the biters. Uh, so walls don't really help with that, unfortunately, because this, the biters are still there and ab absorbing damage. Uh, whether there are walls in between them and the turrets or not. Um, so the biters aren't really the problem. The problem is the, the spitters at the moment. Okay, let's also take this one, I guess. In which case I want to do this, because I hate it when inserters are taking or dropping things into or from those hoods. So there. Oh, and I need to set the recipes here as well. There and... There. I think this... Okay, I also need to connect this, the bricks in there. Okay, that needs to be reinforced. This is still looking okay-ish. Okay, this probably needs to be buffed up a bit, actually. This is okay, that is not okay. But I need more ammo. Ooh, and there's red ammo now. Oh yeah, Silent Storm. I guess I should update my uh, my description because in this case, uh, what I did this time was I uh, didn't allow myself to walk even at the beginning to collect the plates from the wreck. Instead I rolled maps until I got one with iron under my feet when I started. So I started right around here, I think. Uh, like the wreck was right here. Um, and then I just mined a few iron plates and made the belts. Uh, so that's where this is going this time. When I die, what's the most dangerous part, early game or later? Definitely the early game. 
Uh, I said it before that, as soon as you get to robots, and in particular flamethrowers, that's the point where it starts getting difficult to lose. Uh, but until then, and especially, I think mostly the mid-game is uh, the, uh, the most critical part. Especially when you start seeing big biters. Because those are really... Um, those really soak up a lot of resources, simply put. Uh, I should go here first, probably. But I'm closer to this right now, so I can just dump some ammo there first. And hope that this survives for a bit longer. It's not going to survive for a bit longer. <laughs> but I'm too far away to do anything about that. Okay, I, they're going there. That's good. Got lucky. Another level, level of the Nuzlocke challenge for Pokemon is such factorial. Yeah, I guess. I don't actually know exactly what Nuzlocke is. I've heard a lot about it, but I don't actually know what the rules for Nuzlocke is. Actually, I should leave more ammo in these, because they're not getting destroyed, they're just running out of ammo. These are getting destroyed, so I'm leaving less ammo in those. Go back. Like permanent for Pokemon, yeah. Oh yeah, only catch the first Pokemon you see on the route, yeah, I've seen that as well. That sounds rough. <laughs> Ooh, hello, Sasek. This challenge doesn't look like it's ever the best of times, yeah. <laughs> Definitely is something else. So now let's figure out how we're going to get the uh, stone bricks through here. I have a bit of space there that I can use. But I don't really have any space through the furnaces, so I think I'll have to run it up here. I also need more belts. Uh, so, like... Uh, right. Ah, like that. And there, probably. Uh, what was my hot hotkey for? There. I changed my hotkey for upgrade planner a while ago. Uh, these turrets have to move, but then it comes down there, and then I guess I do squiggle it through these, yeah. And in through the middle, yeah, I'll do. So first of all, collect belts and collect ammo. No driving cars for some reason. Well, my thinking is that this is an, an extension of Lazy Bastard. And if you're really Lazy Bastard, you don't even want to bother driving. That's kind of my thinking. And, yeah, it does really make it a lot more difficult. But, hmm, challenge is fun. Don't really need to pick up these turrets, I guess, but I... I do want to pick up these. So we're... okay, I'm going back there. Oh, I should also go there, actually. This is... yeah, I, st I don't know why there's only small ones from here. Like, if it's only spitters, then okay. But there, there have been quite a lot of small biters from there as well. Meanwhile, like these are still spawning 
medium biters. This is more insane bastard than lazy bastard? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't actually need this to continue working, but okay. It stopped on its own. I guess I can start the stone belt from over here. Uh, did I start with this run today? Yes, I did. I've actually been live for seven and a half hours straight now. <laughs> Maybe it's time for a break soon. Also, it's getting time for sleep soon. Yeah, I don't want to stop right now. I'm going to go for a bit longer. At least get this fully running and maybe even take out this or take this iron ore. Uh, right, I needed to pick up belts and I never did. <laughs> Am I allowed to walk to the toilet? Yes. around my house. Maybe I do. Yeah, another thing I could do soonish is to research red belts. That'll make me a, a bit faster, like twice as fast actually. Um, that would be nice actually. Uh, okay, so let's copy these. We'll go like that. What are they eating? They are eating that. It's okay. It's also okay. And now this will go here instead. Should limit this also to like 2000. Uh, limit this to a bit. Uh, yeah. Okay, so now I can squiggle the belt through here. So it will instead be coming in like this. Maturity speed is done, that's very good. I will get... No. I'm not going to research anything right now, actually. actually and just let uh, some resources pile up. Uh, like that. I don't actually need this, do I? So then the belt can be coming down. Okay, it's coming down there. Okay, now I just need to figure out a way to get in there to build this. I think I can reach the rest from the other side. Uh, yeah, maybe this wasn't the brightest idea, to have this butt up against the cliff. It'll be okay though. Oh, I can reach this from there. Nice. Okay, so now I just need to connect the stone here. B 
Big attack coming on the power plant. Still looking okay. Not for much longer though. So let's see here. Don't think I really need these turrets anymore. Can't place one of them though. Oh in God's name am I playing without walking? Well, you can see for yourself. I'm riding belts. And that's all there is to it. If I can do it, so can you. Okay, so that should get the science going. Which means I should probably also connect it to the labs. This is starting to run out. That is now... 35 working. Oh yeah, I need to upgrade some of those inserters. Pause the turret assembler for a while to funnel more out or more iron into ammo. Maybe, yeah, I should probably run this on the inside. So it will be running this way instead. And now I can upgrade this. Yeah, I guess it has to be like that. from here. Make sure it's only on one side so that I can put blue signs on the other side. as well. Let's take those. Now I can finally clear trees properly again. Or again. I mean, now I can clear trees properly. Period, I suppose. Okay. Wow, they've already attacked there. Now we can start researching again. Let's get some damage upgrade. I think the iron in here is still enough to get to that damage upgrade. Uh, 
let's see. That's four, fifteen, and this is like twenty, four, fifteen, and thirty-five ish. Thirty-five ish times twelve hundred is just short of fifty thousand, I think. So yeah, that'll take a third of what's left in here to get that damage upgrade. Uh. Clear trees with poison capsules, huh? I guess that works too. Takes a while longer to get to those though. I uh, should probably reinforce there. Oh yeah, those need to be fast in servers. don't destroy all the other things if something is near that's that's a good point oh we're actually good on power right now So it's nice that I have... oh! 300? Huh, I didn't realize I had that much red ammo already. That's very nice. I should also dump all these intermediates somewhere. Like there, maybe. <laughs> or in the signs. Oh. Yeah, that's gonna die. Fortunately, the other turrets took the rest of the aggro. The reason I couldn't do this is mostly because I would instinctively hit the movement keys. There is a fix for that. I can show you in a bit. Not okay. Not the wrong way. I can show you in a moment when I have a few seconds to spare. Um, I guess you can just unbind them for safety. Yeah, that's one way you can do it, but the problem with that is that you, that also unbinds the map movement keys. So you can't do this anymore if you unbind the movement keys. And that is a problem, <laughs> at least for me. Um, but what you can do, which I can show you in a moment, is you can remove the... Uh, walking permission. Which means that even if I press the movement keys, which I'm doing right now, nothing happens. Uh, but it still works in map view. Uh, because that doesn't count as walking, I suppose. Maybe it's time now to start transitioning over to 
Fred Amos primary. So here, what you can do, what you can do is you can type slash permissions in the console, and it gives you this window here. And you could just edit the permissions, and you can search for a walk, and there's a walking permission there. Start walking. So I would, I have disabled that for myself, and that is in vanilla, and it doesn't count as cheating or anything for for uh, uh, achievements or anything like that. So that is completely okay. Nothing special you need to do to access that. Uh, can I reach now? Didn't know that was a thing. I didn't either until quite recently. Uh, okay, they ate some of that. Let's refill on splitters. We start these for a bit. Take those. Steam engines. Yeah, at this point it's probably a good idea to transition over to Red Ammo's primary. Because while it is less iron efficient than Yellow Ammo, it is a lot more potent. It takes a lot shorter time to kill. The enemies and uh, that can actually save some resources in the end if the turrets are getting destroyed before they can fire all the ammo you're giving them. So I'm gonna use the yellow ammo here because this is not really a hot spot at the moment. I should put up some large power poles to get some more redundant connections around the base. Should also restart this for a moment. Okay, what else needs to happen? The damage of upgrade is coming along actually, it's nice. Okay, this turret is blocking that. Let's go fix that. Get the labs running again. Maybe get a few more labs going, even. Cause yeah, I'm actually backed up on military science, even.
Alright, I was actually thinking I would do this at the very back line. Leave yellow ammo in these. So, let's get rid of this tree. Did I destroy anything? I don't think I did. <laughs> Never stand on a train trap and look at the map? Yep. Life lessons you learn quickly. the labs. Okay, so this has enough for four more labs. It's gonna be a moment. Maybe I can get it a bit faster. some chests again. Six. are upgraded. What next? Finish this maybe and also get this going. So I should actually go here so I can pick up a few more power poles, maybe a few inserters. I'm also going to need a lot of miners soon, so I can go for that iron outpost. Let's re-enable all of this.
Right, I uh, want to get this started. Actually, do I need to? I'm probably just gonna go for steel furnaces soon. I wanna have it here for boilers anyway. Oh no. Okay, hopefully this last few turrets can take care of that, maybe? No. Okay, power plant's gonna die. Nothing I can do about that. I just hope to ha I'll have to hope these can finish it up. I have enough boilers and steam engines to f rebuild it. So, stone will have to come in here, I suppose. Uh, I'll, get, I'll have to get that later. Going out posting sounds arduous, especially on yellows. Yeah, it is. Which is why in the last couple of attempts I have tried using trains for that. Which is also a bit... awkward. Because I can't <laughs> drive the train, I can only ride it automated. Um, but... It at least makes it a lot easier to move back and forth. Unfortunately, I haven't lived very long after trying to get the trains going, so... It's not all great, I suppose. I would like to see what evolution is now. First of all, repair the turrets. Because I would like to not die. Repair the power plant. Does it count for moving if I try to manually ride the train? Yes. At least by my rules. But uh, just riding the train in automated mode is fine. the game rules? Uh, I don't know. You mean the uh, walking permission? I suppose that doesn't care actually. Or I, I, I would expect that it doesn't care about driving trains. did not have enough boilers. It 
It's okay though. Oh, power still cut. Okay. Uh, let's see. Is there a point at which I go push biter bases? Uh, yes. As soon as I've stabilized here and amassed enough ammo, I will try to go for an iron outpost. It might be a while though. Because these biters are giving me trouble. As you can probably tell. Uh, let's see, we need coal in there. Oh, well, they destroyed the pump as well. Action. Now to reconnect the power poles and also to rebuild these turrets again. <laughs> so, as you can see, this is why I don't really bother with any ammo supply automation and stuff like that at this point. Because the issue is not that they're running out of ammo, the issue is that they're getting destroyed. Is there a start driving permission? Maybe, I don't know. That I think connected the rest of the base, yeah. Yeah, now we're struggling for power. How's the ammo looking here? 73, not not great. Oh, right, it's because I haven't built the entire s steel thing. And also because I'm prioritizing uh, iron. Uh, yeah. So let's get rid of that priority. Well, let's drop an assembler here to make furnaces. Maybe even two. Uh, let's figure out the stone supply down here. I'm also actually going to need a belt of stone bricks from there. So that I can build uh, oil refineries mostly. Uh, how do I get this through here then? Looks like I don't. rebuild the entire coal line. Uh, so this will have to do something. Uh, 
Good old blackout, yep. Oh, okay, they took out all of that, but at least they didn't survive to eat the rest of the base. Okay, so how do I do the rest of this? Just move these down. Gets a stone out. I guess I'll have to be content with this. fix things up here. feeling so fine anymore. <sighs> oh, they killed the radar. Looks like we're bouncing back. Good. So now I really need this ammo production to start going up so that I can take out some of these nests and take this iron. Because this is too soon going to run out. So going to need this to run again so that I can get some more of these things. Oh, 
I'm just running a carousel here. Should be working now. Good. Are there any more ghosts on this side? No, okay. There also isn't enough coal. Should be enough coal. Yeah, maybe it's just a delay. Yeah, I think it's just a delay. Still gonna set up a few more up here though. a lot. I no longer have any iron. So I guess we'll see. Maybe I die here in the next couple of hours. Oh yeah. This is bad. Certainly making me work for it. Oh, there's slime. Let's not die in the slime.
Uh, I'm feeling quite low on ammo. I hope that this production can pick up soon. Now that I've increased steel production a bit. But yeah, this isn't looking too good. Where's all the iron going? Oh, into circuits. Okay. I guess that's that is the drawback of buffers. <laughs> this very ominous music is very fitting for this moment. This is quite a predicament. I need red ammo to go out and take these bases and this iron, but I need this iron to make red ammo, so it's a bit of a catch-22. Spare so everything. Yeah, and these are also consuming a lot of iron. Yes, this is science, I suppose. Not a lot. Does this, does this need to be fast? Yes, this needs to be fast in servers. This should also be fast, but on the other hand, it's not actually being fully fed. Because that's not a full belt of stone. So that doesn't actually matter. And it's also the ammo that's the more important thing right now, and not the science. It's a bit worrying that this is the only iron ore I can see. And I still can't see any oil. Okay, there's oil. That's very far away. And through a lot of biters. Uh, okay. So, yeah. Again, what I need to do next is go out and take this iron. For that, I need a lot of red ammo. And I can't really make red ammo right now. Because I'm making pipes. Yeah. 
So this is going to be another 600 packs. 600 times 30. Which is 18,000 iron. So how long is that going to be? In one hour I have made... Okay, that's only like 20 minutes if I consume all of it into that. Which I don't, but it's... Yeah, like 30 minutes maybe. I really should go to bed, but you want to see how I take out a binder race? Yeah. Unfortunately I can't show you right now, I'm afraid. Because I can't really go out and do that without dying. But maybe in like, I don't know, half an hour, an hour, if I'm lucky. How much time have I been playing in this map? Uh, about eight hours. A little longer than eight hours. I started in this session and uh, yeah. That's how long I've been live. <laughs> so yeah, usually around this time is when I go get uh, an outpost. And it's a bit worrying that I haven't been able to do that just yet. Especially since this iron is definitely dwindling. But okay, I am getting us I am getting some ammo in here. And turrets are still standing somewhat. Okay, these are running out. But these have been running on yellow armor and have been doing quite fine for now. So I will keep supplying those with the yellow ammo. Red armor is actually coming along at a, at an okay pace now. Eight and a half hours? Yeah, a little less because I spent some of the time at the beginning rolling for maps. But yeah, about that time. I think the very minimum I need to take out one of these bases is ra around 400 ammo, of which I'm probably going to spend about 100 to... Yeah, about 100 probably to take out one base. Um, but in order to take out all of this, I'm probably not going to need closer to a thousand or even more. Yeah, this damage upgrade will help reduce the amount of ammo I spend, of course, if I can get it sometime soon. Should place a radar closer there to there.
Okay, now it's actually mostly these assemblers that are, that are the bottleneck, because these buffers are full, and these belts are full. So maybe I should get this. So that's 30% remaining. Which means about 400 packs, which means this is, yeah, a lot faster and also doesn't take any military. Because if I can upgrade those assemblers, then that will go faster. So where will I make those then? I will have steel up here at some point, I think. Or am I? Am I going to? What were these? Don't remember what those were supposed to be. Oh yeah, those were engine things. Right. Right? I think those were engine things, yeah. Yeah, there was even this buffer here. Let's see. Okay, looks like I've kind of borked it. Yeah, never mind. Uh, where was that? Yeah, over there? Yeah, okay. okay I don't think I'll be using yellow ammo anymore. Because soon enough... Oh, there's a nest here now. Because soon enough uh, there will be big biters, and those do not care about yellow ammo. I can restart this. Why are these okay? Let's pause those. Okay, now ammo production is looking up. What's wrong with the science? No iron. Okay, understandable. Right, so where do I make assemblers? I guess I continue this out there.
So here we'll have a space and then some assemblers. These will make assemblers. This will make assembler two. Which doesn't require iron plates, that's nice. Steel plate, gear wheel, okay, that's everything. As soon as I get the technology. Which is going to be a while. We have a bit of red ammo, at least. Oh, I should also continue this belt so that it actually can pick <laughs> things up. Might be a problem. And yeah, that's gonna run out here. Yeah. And again we are facing a blackout. Probably. Unless these behave, which I don't think they will. Yeah, they're not behaving. I'm starting to feel like I'm probably gonna die soon. This is a lot of iron I'm losing here. Yeah, I'm probably gonna die. Probably going to die. Still alive up there. Don't need that many walls, I don't think. Okay, few <laughs> steam engines still standing. I think that's enough to keep me alive though. On the other hand, I do have 337 red ammo. 
but on the other hand I'm going to use most of it here, or at least a lot of it here. That's all the steam engines I had. Oh, whoops. Yeah, it's probably not going to be enough to get the back, base back on its feet. This is woefully inadequate. Let's see down here. Let's pause those so that this can start working. I desperately need to replace those steam engines. I should probably pause the science for now. And just put everything into there. There's one. Just need 50 more plates for another one. But it does look like this is enough to keep these running. At least. Oh, I'm not sure. Okay, no. I didn't actually connect the coal bed though. At least the red turrets all survived.
Hello, Gerard. Season 2 we beat with once already. If yes, did I change any rules this time around? I re do you remember your rules from a year or two ago? Yeah, I did beat it once. Um, earlier this spring. And, uh, yeah, I did change the rules a tiny bit. So instead of allowing myself to walk enough to pick up plates from the wreck, uh, I just keep rolling maps until I find the one that starts me with iron on my feet instead. Uh, but that's, I think, the only thing I've changed since then. For the, <clears throat> for the congratulations. Don't know if I got some many. Well, I did. I did make a brag post on Reddit, and I got some attention there. So I guess that's maybe counts as accolades. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I was very happy with myself, at least. Uh, yeah, this. This of red armor production is not going to cut it. Okay, I have enough on the belt now. I can restart the science. Right, you're welcome to lurk. Thank you for the good luck. I am going to need it, I think. Yeah, this iron is going to run out very soon. <laughs> See how many are this? That is seven. Means these five will get me almost back to where I was. Seven, or well, two, which makes seven. Okay, and there's a bit of redundancy as well. Okay, what did they destroy? Those, okay. It's not going to hold for much longer, and I also don't have any, any ammo. This is not looking great.
Okay, that's done good. Let's continue the damage upgrade. I'm actually surprised by how well the factory holds up under this low power. I guess it's because I have many more coal miners than I need and a priority there. This should be okay. So that works though. Oh, except there's no pipe there. We can snipe that tree. One turret. Yeah, really running out of fumes here. Okay, fifty ammo. It's not too shabby. We have power again.
So, will I die or will I live? Alright, I should start making these. few more than that. No, but okay, we have plenty of gears here. Just need to connect them. Oh, this needs materials though. I think eight is what I'm gonna need. Nine, okay. At least this damage upgrade is coming along soonish. Let's re enable some of this. How do I get in there to upgrade? I guess same as usual. Um, this might actually need to be... Yeah, this needs to be fast inserters, I think. I can upgrade these as well. That's a long caravan. Let's hope there's enough ammo. Uh, looking kind of sketchy. Uh, not quite enough.
What's also worrying is that my turret reserves are doing bling. So if I run out of turrets, then I most certainly will die. Okay, production is looking up again. Hmm. That went well. <sighs> okay, so what do I need here? I need more steel. I'm currently consuming all the iron I'm, I'm using, or I'm producing, so I... It doesn't really help if I expand this at the moment. I guess I can do it though, just to have it done. So there's not much else I can do right now, really. At least place all of these furnaces. So I don't really want to place the inserters right now, <clears throat> because it's quite a lot of inserters. Guess I might as well build some of this as well. Okay, 122. Maybe I just might survive this after all. Just maybe. I do remember that the uh, the game that I did succeed last time had a lot of this panic mode for a while. Oh, but I think that was slightly later after I had um, oil processing and stuff like that going. Too comforted by that thought.
Let's pause this. Because I hopefully don't need all that many more steam engines. Let's get those iron plates into turrets instead. Pause this and get some red signs. Yeah, these are dwindling fast now. 27 remaining. Guess I should pick these up before the buyers eat them. Four more ammo. Hmm. I would like that to come along faster. <laughs> but I don't think there's really anything I can do to make that happen. Other than go and take this out outpost. Which again, I need the ammo in order to do in the first place. So how's the production looking? In the last hour I have consumed 1.6 thousand, or produced 500 more than I've consumed of the red ammo, okay. That at least is a bit comforting. Alright, the science is moving ever so slowly.
What is there to do, really? I guess I could design some blueprints for things that are coming up. Maybe. So all I can really do now is just wait for this ammo to stack up. And keep the turrets running. So yeah, let's design some things. Don't need these here anymore. So, I want 10 refineries. And let's bring out my spreadsheet. 10 refineries, and I want how many... Even more spitters. Uh, how do we even get to them? Through here, I suppose. Okay, I'm not going to rebuild this stone mine for a while. So I have lots of walls stored up already. Okay, it would be quite unfortunate to die in the slime here. That looks like the last of the spitters. Now I just need to get out of here without dying in the slime. Which is easier said than done. damage is done. Good. Finally. I don't have enough iron to get this. By which I mean I don't have enough iron in the patch to finish researching this. Uh, okay. I don't think I'll do any research right now. I could do this to reduce pollution a bit. But it's going to be quite a while before I can actually get any use out of that anyway. How much is it actually? 300? Yeah. I'm just gonna let this, this... Actually, I'm going to completely disable the science. 
and these grenades and let all of the ammo flow into ammo or all of the iron flow into ammo so that way hopefully I can store up enough ammo to go and get it to get this outpost and continue doing the things I need to do Running dangerously low on turrets. At least armor production, production is looking pretty good now, I think. good for the future. I guess I should maybe replace this. If only for the uh, this part. These looking still okay, still okay ish. Oh yeah, now production is looking better. Production of ammo, that is. That's the only production that really matters at this point. I can stabilize here.
really is all about this ammo production. But yeah, there's really nothing I can do to make that any faster right now. Because I still need that half of the iron ore going into our plate production. Because I still need the plates for that. And also I need to keep producing turrets. Yeah, that's mostly it. Turrets and ammo is what I need. Alright, at least the turret count is going up. Let's take that. It's not doing any good lying around there anyway. Um, let's pick these up. Counting down fast on this iron patch. starting the big iron poles there because I'm gonna want those to reach the outposts when the time comes for that. Is 500 belts going to be enough to get up there is the question. Or that is one question that I need to answer. Let's see that's 80. Can I get uh, like 100? 99. Okay that's 100 belts. Uh, let's stop myself somewhere sensible, like there. So, uh, let's see. One, two, three, four. Okay, so it's about 400 belts to get there. Which means that these 500 should be just about enough to get there. I think I want to produce a few more to be safe. So let's bump that up to... Oh, 
700. That together with the 200 I have should be definitely enough to get to the outpost and bring the iron back. Okay, it looks like my ammo count is actually going up now. What is consuming steel on here? Oh, it's these, okay. Of course. How many do I need to get out of there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, yeah, fifteen ish, maybe. So those might be enough. Let's say they're enough. Uh, let's make a few more actually. Okay, we're once again over 200 ammo. <laughs> Question is, do I take out these two nests before I go this way? To take some pressure off here. I'm probably going to be away for long enough that whatever defenses I have are, are going to fall in the meantime. Which is an argument in favor of going out to take this out. And yeah, now that I have red ammo and a bunch of upgrades, that might be doable without too much of a problem. Because I don't think we're close to big biters just yet. We're getting there though. I think we were at like 36 EVO last time I checked. And it will have increased a bit since then. So we might be getting close to 50% EVO. actually mark all this for deconstruction to save a bit of power. Not a lot of power, but still. More than nothing. Coming for me. So there goes all my red ammo. on that production. Red ammo, red ammo, okay, still positive. OK, 
Okay, that should be enough. I guess actually one good thing that's happening is that my pollution is going down. I hadn't actually realized, but yeah, it does seem to be going down. Which means I attract less attention from the biters. Ah, oh, this really is going to be a slog, isn't it? Just waiting for this to stack up enough ammo. I don't have to think I have the luxury of waiting for... Uh, I don't think I have the luxury of going out to take these out before I have to go here. So I guess I should start preparing some belts for that iron I was supposed to feed into. here somehow. I'll just feed into one of these. Yeah, that's easiest. So the iron belt will be coming in somewhere around here. Probably go above these cliffs. Or maybe not. And yeah, let's just feed it down here. Hello. I was going to do something down here. Oh yeah, pick up some belts, I think. Okay, let's pause that one. Take those so they don't get eaten, take those so that I can use them, take those, take those. Yeah, I'll take those too. Ooh, a hundred ammo. to look where evolution is at? I don't know and I I know there is a command to check it but uh, that feels a bit cheaty to me uh, but I can check by just pointing at a spawner when, in, when one is in vision uh, but I don't have one in vision right now so 
can check right now. That's nice. That means maybe I should go for this one instead. Because there's, there's a lot less resistance here. And it also gets me closer to the oil. And coal. Yeah, that seems much better to me. to get a base that nice encased in water. Um, I don't know, maybe 15 minutes? I really kind of stopped at the first map that had one, iron under my feet when I started, and two, not a desert map. And it just happened to be this one. Which I agree is very nicely encased in water. Unfortunately I haven't had I haven't been able to make much use of these choke points yet because I haven't been really able to get that far away from the base yet. I need to stay close to here to keep all the turrets running. Can I leave this for a while longer? While I go out to kill some bases? I think I can, maybe, probably, perhaps, hopefully. Okay, so if I want to go this way... To get through here, I probably only need, like, the bare minimum, 400. Might want to take that one out while I'm in, in the vicinity. This one definitely takes at least 400 uh, ammo in my inventory, of which I'm probably going to spend, like, 150, 200. Uh, these might be an issue as well being quite close to here. Do I still have that 100 belt? Yes. So one and a two and a three and a four and a five. Okay. So in that case, I'll just be running the belting through here. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, again, the spitter solves the problem. Trees are nice. Messing with the biter pathing, yeah. Indeed. 
Yeah, most of the time in this challenge, trees are your friends, unlike most other forms of Victoria. Okay, now I can see. Evo is 45%, that means big biters very soon. They're not going to be a majority in the near future, but in the close... Well, not close future, but... In the mid-range future, they are going to be a majority. And this is about to run out of ammo soon, maybe? No? Okay, I probably do need to take need to take a break soon. <laughs> Seeing as I have been at this for ten hours now. <laughs> huh. So I guess next time we'll come back and see if I survive or if I die. Yeah, so I'm taking like five steps forward and one s four steps back <laughs> with the ammo. This back down to five hundred. And there's still iron plates left in the shipwreck. Yep, I never picked them up. 
So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight plates in there. Unfortunately, the big wreck got destroyed by the biters. So that one is no longer with us. But uh, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna take a break here. This seems like good enough. Um, not downtime, but like a moment of not too much biter attention. So I'm gonna end this session here and come back probably tomorrow and see if I can survive this or if I will die trying to get this iron or shorter thereafter. Um, yeah, thanks everyone who has been watching and uh, I'll catch you next time. Until then, have a good time and I'll see you then.